Hello guys, first of all sorry for my English, it's not my native. Uh, today I will show you the new update of Adrian's uh, Cessna 152 version 2.8. Um, it's in early beta stage but will be very soon. Uh, this version will have a huge improvement. Uh, it will be yes and full iPad revamp. Yes, as you can see and I can now displace focus a bit up. Uh, focus is working hard to implement it into the iPad, but guys, it's really impressive. It adds uh, a lot of immersion to the iPad. Uh, if you are using uh, focus master plugin, then you already know how cool and useful it is. Uh, in previous versions of Adrian's iPad, it is a bit hard to uh, new maps or update them. Uh, you, had to cal you had to calibrate uh, almost every updated maps and all new maps. Uh, well, uh, I know that was a real pain because I did a few maps for uh, the old versions. Okay, uh, so the default was a bit that we have several uh, options for map sources. Uh, I will show you how. I will show you how uh, does they work and how you can download new maps or update the existing ones. Uh, the downloadable maps are always based on the latest uh, area data. So if you want to keep the maps updated, uh, you will have to update them also with your uh, Navigraph cycles. Uh, but these maps are free to use, free to download, so you won't have to pay for the map updates. That's cool. Uh, keep it in mind, it won't update your Navigraph betas, so only your maps. Uh, so if you want to update your navigation betas, you can still uh, get them from Aerosoft or Navigraph itself. Okay, so let's see the updated iPad and the functions of Avitab. Uh, this is the home screen of Avitab, actually it has uh, seven Icons, charts, airports, routes, maps, clean manual, notes, and about itself. Every tab. Okay, uh, at charts you can use PDF uh, and uh, image files. Uh, charts, uh, charts, let's see Lima Hotel, Bravo Papa. Actually, let me, I'm on the airport. Okay, you can zoom in, uh, rotate everything what you need to read your charts. It's really cool. Okay, uh, back to the home screen. Uh, with the airports icon, uh, you can simply enter an IK code and it will show the basic information about the airport. Uh, like radio frequencies, uh, runway and weather information, which is currently unavailable for me because it's turned off on my side at the moment. Okay, back to home. Mm, I tripped. Uh, Abit up can, can generate your route by the uh, given departure record and the arrival airport. So as I am at Lima Hotel Bravo Papa, I set it as the departure and for arrival I will set uh, Lima Oscar Whiskey Whiskey. Okay. Okay, every tap displays the route and the distance information. Uh, if you wish, you can set the route into your flight computer. It's very cool also. Okay, back to the home screen. Yes, the maps icon. Uh, it's the main function of Edit tab. You have five uh, options for map sources, like Open Topo, ESP, PSG, Geotiffs, uh, Explains on uh, Map, and Mercator Map Ties. Uh, I will show you these map functions and how to use them a bit later. Back to home screen now. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. 
Mm, plane manual is a document you were also. You can read the manual of your plane and any other documents what you want. It's really cool. You can read your. Oh, you can read your uh, plane manuals. Okay. Back to home again. Notes. Uh, you can type your notes here or simply draw. There is a draw pad. Hi. Uh, or simply type what you want there or it has a paste function so it can paste uh, text from your clipboard it's really cool also I like it okay about it's about a bit of it stuff it's uh, about the credits you know and about a bit of okay but now back to maps yes as you can see uh, open topo maps are the records of every tab. Uh, maps are downloaded on demand, uh, so you don't have to download anything. It has global coverage, is the default for every tab. Really cool. Okay, back to my plan. Uh, but. Uh, these uh, this map source is uh, using OpenStreetMap uh, dot, uh, database, uh, so it doesn't really have any aviation data. Uh, if you want to use aviation maps, uh, you have to download uh, EPSG or GeoTIFF maps. Uh, EPSG sleepy ties I usually use in Europe. Uh, maps are available for free, supports more than 15 European countries, uh, and they are based on the latest ARX cycles, so it's rec recommended to update them monthly. Uh, GeoTIFs are used in the United States. Uh, maps are also available for free, and they are updated monthly also. Uh, explain map, well, is the basic uh, explainer's map. That's it. Really basic, that's all. Now back to open topo. Uh, yes, and the last one is Mercator Maps. Uh, you can use any PDF or image uh, file as maps, but you have to calibrate them so you so they can be used as moving maps also. Uh, but you have to calibrate the PDF and the image files. Uh, I, sh I will show you in the video later how can you calibrate them. Uh, okay, uh, how to download and apply maps. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to download uh, EPSG and uh, GeoTIFF maps. Uh, don't forget open topo using OpenStreetMap as source. So maps are downloaded on demand so you don't have to download anything. We just need a working internet connection. Okay. So let's start with the EPSG maps. You will usually you will usually use them in Europe. Uh, as you can read it in Avita Readme's file, it's recommended to use openflightmaps.org for EPSG maps. Okay, so open that uh, website. It's already open for me. Okay. Mm. You can check the actual uh, area version, choose a region, for example, uh, Hungary. Hungary, 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 Hungary. Oh, actually, I'm on Hungary. So, okay, back to uh, back to the base site. Sorry, guys. Okay. Choose the region Hungary. Mm, I'm always switching to English because uh, you can click to the get latest products link and it will take you down to the downloads area. Okay, so you have to download EPSG ties for Europe. So, okay, here it is. Click on it and click on download. Okay. Uh, it's recommend to name it as the country what you choose to download so you will know what you will uncompress later so I 
downloaded the Sunbury, but as you can see, it's all downloaded. So I won't download it again. Okay, it's downloaded now. Uh, okay, open uh, file manager like Google Commander or Windows Library. It's up to you. Uh, navigate to explain resources, plugins, edit tab, map ties. Uh, we will see several directories. The first one is a uh, cache for open topo maps. Uh, this is the folder where the mm, downloaded maps on demand will be cached. Okay, but we are use EPSG folder now because I downloaded Hungary as uh, EPSG type so I'm going into this directory as you can see I have every uh, available tie from uh, open flight maps uh, but you will have uh, just the readme file if you don't have any maps okay so make a new directory called Hungary it's already made for me and open the downloaded uh, zip file called hungary.zip uh, navigate to clip merge and to the two six files at uh, 2x folder and copy these files into this folder that's all after the copy is ready you have the net ties Mm, okay, let's see I, how it is in a uh, simulator. Okay, choose the, the slicky ties and choose Hungary as I downloaded it. Okay, that's it. Don't forget, it's uh, updated. It's a aviation map, so you can use it for your VFR or RFR flights. Mm, okay, now let's see JLT maps usually used in the United States. United States uh, maps can be downloaded uh, for free from Federal Aviation Administration. Uh, link is listed at the video description. Okay, now I'm at Kilo Sierra Bravo, Bravo Alpha. Santa Barbara, as you can see on Open Topo. Uh, I'm going to download sectional uh, map for Los Angeles area. Uh, it's huge, covers half of California. Uh, you have several options there sectional maps, terminal area, uh, maps for heli pilots, and so on. Uh, but now I'm going to download the sectional map. Okay, let's scroll down to Los Angeles. Okay, there you go. Uh, as you can see, there uh, you have several options. Uh, always download uh, the GOP files, and here you can see uh, the valid date of uh, each map data. Uh, actually, Los Angeles has this one at the moment, so I will download this. Okay, but it's downloaded uh, already, so I don't have to download. Okay, it's a bit easier to uh, copy these files. Uh, you have to copy the downloaded GeoPIF. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, so here it is the, the, the downloaded Los Angeles uh, GeoPIF. Uh, open the GeoPIF in research, explain resources, plugins, Avitab, map files, and simply copy the TIF file from the zip into the directory as you can see I have several tiles that's it so it's a bit easier okay uh, it's already downloaded and applied in the iPad via Avitab uh, as you can see open topo is really cool also it has uh, global coverage but it doesn't have uh, aviation data, so load up this uh, Los Angeles area. Okay, as I said, EPSG uh, ties basically used in uh, Europe and GeoTIFF uh, ties used in the United, United States. So open Los Angeles GeoTIFF. 
uh, it will load a bit slower but it's loaded that's it and you can see it's huge Los Angeles down to San Diego and it's ready to use it's quite simple I think ok let's see it in the move Take off and show you how fast 